Hello, everybody. It's finally the day come and I received a replacement pot. Uh, it's claimed to be original from Japan, but it's, <laughs> it looks like brand new. And that's where I, it's, I compare it to size, so size is fits pretty well. So it's definitely rather original or probably later series one. We'll see. Uh, I'm already checked with uh, milliometer, not milliometer, it's multimeter. That resistance is fine. So let's unsolder the older one. Closer. Okay, looks like it's unsoldered. It should be pulled out. So yeah, you see, this looks exactly the same. So the only difference is this paper piece, but it's just quality control sticker maybe that was sitting here before. It looks to be almost the same, but this one from 1979 and it's probably from the later model. So let's install it here. And it fits very well. So I don't need the soldering iron anymore. I'm going to use some flux. You have some plugs here and we will be soldering this new guy here Okay, it did fit very well. So we will continue assembling. Let me see if you can see it well. So probably we will lower the tripod. Change position a bit. Let's put it here. So you will see it better. Okay, now we have to use spacer and a nut on each of the potentiometers.
my set to assemble it back. It took a while, so really, it's been coming for me from abroad, and potential meter get to the tax, not tax, the customs service in November 7th, and I received it only on December 10th, really. It's been a long wait. But finally, we would be able to assemble this deck and listen. That's what I was waiting for to listen on the large speakers and the results of my work. I hope everything we did so far will result in a pretty nice sound because this older Dex has a pretty nice sound. So 6.8 is the text, probably the closest one on the sound quality uh, to the famous Nakamichi 1000, the XL. Uh, which is named the king of the tape decks. So that's how, how it is. And this is an older guy which has been broken. During this assembly, due to some guy decided to put a pretty strong glue versus, like you see, is always a space here when you can just like adjust like with a screwdriver. I like put it like here or here and adjust it a little bit, make it wider and that's, you see now, and that's where you can pop your, your knob and it will keep here pretty well. No need to glue anything, guys. Uh, but this one is a gunner, unfortunately. It will be trashed. Okay, now we have this piece assembled. I believe I did, yes, everything is tight here, so it wouldn't be flexing. Let's do a test run and see if we can continue assembling this nice deck. I would need a oscilloscope generator so let's put source signal here let me see if you can see it okay Turn it on and switch to the source. Okay, you see, I can adjust it. So, here is the levels, it works smoothly. Really nice, you see, it's pretty good potentiometer. I can adjust it really smooth and really, really well. Let's get very high, okay. So that's where we can like, make it even. Okay. Like that. Let's add tape. Let's do calibration. Okay, so it's source. Let's 
tape. Source. Okay, a little bit on the left channel. Okay, source, tape, source, tape. It's equal. And let's go to the recording. Source, tape, source, tape. So it's equal. Source and tape. See, source, tape, source, tape, 300 years. Let's do calibration one more time. It's just azimuts. Okay, I didn't connect the oscilloscope. Let's connect the oscilloscope and see how it's performed now. Okay, we have levels. Second channel. Automatic setup. Okay, so let's. So this is a source, this is a tape. You see, it's pretty stable. Nice view, source, tape. Now let's do output control. Set to zero decibel. And let's do minus 20. Here. I'm sure probably you cannot see everything. I need to pull you back a little bit. Like that. So. And you see, it's minus 20 on the millivoltmeter and it's minus 20 on the deck here. So that's now we can do a bigger amplitude here. And now we can do a frequency response test so 300 4 5 6 8 9 10 okay almost no change to 3000 plus one decibel 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay a little bit face off let's do another adjustment Okay, now it's better. Let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's, it's pretty nice. I would be just, just a little bit. I need my fine screwdriver. So type one. Oops, wrong direction. Okay, now we have both channels, 15 kilogears, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, wow. <laughs> Minus one decibel on 20 kilogears, really cool. Now we have a little bit of difference in the level. Okay. Good sure. Source tip. Now we have left channel a little bit far.
Okay, so sequel tip into bits that's on the left channel. Yeah. So source tip source tip. Let's do one more time. Three hundred, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zero change. Two, three, four. Plus one decibel. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost no change. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Now left channel <laughs> gets back. Pretty high value. So. Pretty minimum, minimum adjustments. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Okay, fine, works. Now, I'm ready to play something on this deck. Let's put in, as always, my tape. Put in tape from the songs and see how it performs. Okay, it looks like it performs pretty well. Wow, really nice sound. A little bit loud. I will listen it in the headphones. Okay, I'm ready to assemble this guy. So, see you when I will assemble it. Assembling is as easy as like to just put all parts back together. So, it will be next part.